protests in the streets of London today as demonstrators speak out against UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson's unprecedented proposal to suspend the British Parliament until October 14th as the country prepares to leave the European Union. Here to discuss, Director of the Heritage Foundation's Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom and former advisor to the late Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, Niall Gardner. Niall, even by the standards of the Brexit era, this has been uh, such a turbulent week for the United Kingdom. Were you surprised by this move by Boris Johnson, the new prime minister, to take the step of suspending parliament just weeks before this critical vote? Actually, I wasn't surprised at all because Boris Johnson is 100% committed to delivering Brexit mm -hmm. uh, and he's prepared to do whatever is necessary in order to deliver the will of the British people. After all, 17.4 million Britons voted in 2016 for Britain to leave the EU and Boris Johnson has pledged to deliver the will of the British people here and that's exactly what he's doing uh, right now by proroguing uh, Parliament. Uh, pro prorogation, as it's known, actually is not unusual. There's a lot of historical precedent uh, for it, so it's not a constitutional uh, crisis. And this is something that the the Queen has uh, has requested at the at the request of the British government. But here's uh, what some of his opponents are saying. Okay, the Speaker of the House of Commons called it a constitutional outrage. Labour legislators are calling it a coup. The Financial Times called the decision an affront to democracy. Do they have a point, or do you think they're off base? I think they're completely off, off base actually and uh, there's been a hysterical reaction from opponents of, of Brexit and let's face it, the Speaker of the House uh, of Commons, uh, John Burko and Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the Labour Party and the Financial Times, they're all actually against Brexit, especially against a no-deal Brexit. It's not a surprise to see this kind of really over-the-top, completely hysterical reaction uh, from those who are fundamentally opposed actually to delivering the will of the British people. This is all about democracy in practice here and Boris Johnson is basically pledging to deliver the outcome of a of a democratic referendum the biggest vote in british democratic history here uh, and this is actually the right way forward but in doing this his critics would say and the the remainers as uh, they're called the folks who would like to stay in the european union uh, you know they essentially argue that by suspending parliament it is limiting their ability to have a real debate or figure out a way to get out of uh, the European Union with a deal. Yeah, so Parliament has extensively uh, debated uh, Brexit now for several years uh, and also nearly 500 MPs voted to uh, basically uh, for Britain to leave the European Union actually and so Parliament has already endorsed uh, Brexit and basically the British government today is fulfilling the wishes not only the British people but also Parliament here but still you still have the Remainers who are trying to desperately resist Brexit, who are desperately trying to stop Brexit at any possible uh, cost here. Uh, and at the end of the day, this is all about uh, democracy. It's about British self-determination, British sovereignty. It's about the right of the British people to decide and shape their own future on the world stage as a fully free and independent people. And that's what's going to happen actually on October 31st when Brexit is implemented. And so if that does happen, what does it mean for the United States? Bring it home for us. Well, I think Brexit will be great for the United States, actually. You're going to see uh, swiftly the implementation of a US-UK free trade agreement. You're going to see a strengthening of the Anglo-American special relationship. Uh, Brexit is all about freedom on both sides of the Atlantic. It'll be a great day for Britain, but also for the United States as well, and for the American people. Fascinating stuff. You know, it's something that President Trump wants. Now, Gardner, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Leland